sign a contract, and obviously there's a lot of things going on. But now you're out on the field, obviously a very small sample size, but just first impressions of being with your new two teammates in your new city. Man, I, I, I love these guys. Um, you know, I knew about the I knew about the team. Um, I knew about the players here, um, but the collection of guys, the the collection of personalities, is is nothing like I've ever been on. And um, you know, I was with the Rams last year, and uh, it was like the Pro Bowl every day. You got talented guys all around, from you know Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald, Cooper Cup, Matthew Stafford. I had Odell Beckham right across. His locker room was right across from mine, and uh, we had a great locker room there. But this locker room is great, man. Um, everybody's. Uh, it, it kind of has like a college vibe here at the facility. Um, facility is great here. Um, whenever we're here at work, it's great. You know, it's just when you walk outside, it's just I'm still getting used to, you know, the wind and, and, and being in Buffalo. But everybody that I talk to, everybody that I talk to that moved here from big cities, they love it. They, 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 um, they grow this love for the city. They grow this love for the snow and the wind. And um, I'm hoping that it be me, but I, I haven't got there yet. But when, when we're here at the facility, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a dream. And, you know, it just reminds me of uh, why I made the decision to come here to the Buffalo Bills. What was it like, you know, going through the recruiting process? Obviously, you and Josh had that phone conversation. Yeah. In Bahamas. But what was it like actually, you know, meeting Josh for the first time in the locker room? Uh, you know, I'm a fan of, of football in general, you know. Um, all I've ever wanted to do is play in the National Football League. Like all I've ever wanted to do is, is play football. You know, I had some, you know, I had some Plan Bs to, you know, be a chicken farmer and all of this stuff. And you know, I DJ and I'm a comedian and you know all of this stuff. But you know, all I ever, I, I, my biggest dream was to play football. I'm a fan of football. You know, I, I've been a fan of of Josh Allen for a long time. You know, we could have picked him at at five. I think it was five. We took Bradley Chubb, which was a great, which was a great pick for us. And um, you know, he, he helped me out in my career a whole lot. But, you know, I've been a fan of Josh. I've been a, a fan of the type of player that he is. And, you know, talking to him in the Bahamas, like, it was, it was, Josh, it was Josh Allen. Of course, I didn't, I didn't know him. I haven't had too many conversations with him. But, you know, I've texted him on Instagram. I've told him I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan before. And, you know, I've kind of worked on that relationship before I even got here. So talking to him on, um, on the phone, it was, it was just normal. Talking to him here in the locker room was the same guy that I talked to on FaceTime. And those are the guys that you look for. All the great quarterbacks that I've ever been around, from Peyton Manning to, um, to Matthew Stafford to, you know, all the guys that I've been around, they all have this, this aura about them. Like, no matter how high it gets, no matter how low it gets, no matter if it's the first day of OTAs or no matter if it's the day before the Super Bowl, you know, they're, they're the same guys. And, and Josh Allen has this, uh, this aura about him for sure. Oh, uh, you know, it's not, it's, it's not, it's, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not typical for me, but the guys that I'm fans of, I, you know, I, I reach out, I hit them up, Kyler Mary, um, Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady, of course, um, Aaron Rodgers, you know, all the, all the guys, you know, I'm a friendly guy on Instagram, I'm a friendly guy in life, it's just when we get on the football field, I, you know, I have to, I got to do my job too, you know. And uh, that's getting after the quarterback. Well, <laughs> other than that, though, like, you know, I'm friends with all these guys, man. It's, it's pretty cool. I know there were guys that, um, that gave in your first answer that when they came to Buffalo, um, kind of fell in love with it. Who were some of those guys that maybe told you that their impressions of what this place is like was different after they got here? Oh, you know, everybody's going to say everybody's gonna say that they love Buffalo. But I think what really the, the guy that – really got me going was Diggs. You know, I, I know Diggs on and off the football field and when he when he told me that that Buffalo is a place that he's good here, that, you know, we we figure out whatever it is off the football field and in the locker room we're gonna be fun. I his his um opinion of the team and and his uh and his analysis of, of what type of team this will be in the city and all this stuff, I took that to heart and um that was one in a that really was the biggest reason, you know, why I came here. You know, having Stefan Diggs, the international superstar here, and um, he said that he said that it's good, man. Vaughn, you're gonna be good here. Like I took that to heart, and that was really one of the biggest decisions that got me over the hump. Cause leaving LA to Buffalo, man, it's gotta be some special stuff. You know, we got Josh Allen and all these guys. I was already ready to come, <clears throat> but when Diggs was like, "Bro, it's good here. We're gonna be good. We're gonna go in the Super Bowl. You're gonna love the locker room. You're gonna love the facility. You're gonna you're gonna love the." You know, all the guys that work and make this thing go, the, the cafeteria ladies, the PR guys, the, you know, the, the janitors and the workers here, you're going to love all of these guys, man. And I've been here for, for two days, and he, he didn't lie to me for sure. Experience, your lengthy experience, you've come off some, some very successful seasons, Super Bowl seasons. 
but also some frustrating losses. You've lost the Super Bowl. When you join a team, well, this is, but when you come here, the hangover, do you get any sense of a hangover of what happened in January here? And how do you think teams should get over those types of losses? I mean, we talking about hangovers. I've been in, I've been in Denver. <laughs> I was in Denver. We didn't go to the playoffs for six years. You know, we don't have a hangover here. It's just we just lost. You know, one game. Was, that's how football is. You know, I I was watching that game on the plane, and um, it, you know, we, it, you know, things like that happen. You know, it, you know, things games don't happen like that two times in a row for sure. And um, I know the Buffalo fan base and Bills Mafia and everybody is. You know, everybody wants that game back, and, you know, everybody's thinking about that game this offseason. But, you know, I'm here to tell you, like, you know, you just got to let that stuff go. We got a great team. You know, we're building on stuff. Uh, Coach McDermott, you know, he, he showed us a, a great slot, you know, yesterday to get us pumped up for, you know, this, this coming up offseason. And, you know, it's, we're ready to go. We got players. This is, this is one of the most talented teams that I've ever been on. Um, and I'm talking. I'm not even talking about the stars. I'm talking about like the base fundamental players. Like we got guys. We got we got guys. We're gonna be ready to go. We're playing in the in the, in the AFC East. Um, yeah, I'm excited. You know, some games like that you should use them for you know, motivation, but you got to be able to let them go and, and and push past that. You know, this this AFC East division they they've gotten better. The whole AFC the whole the whole AFC has uh, gotten better as well. We can't be caught up on you know Kansas City. We just got to keep it going. Um, Keep taking it one step at a time, and I've been doing that my my whole career, and it, it, it has uh, paid off for me. So that's the energy that I'll be putting on all of my teammates. Don, you've always played a high percentage of snaps. Is that something you always focus on and want to continue to do? Is there any point you would transition to doing it differently? And has the team talked to you about that? I know it's early in the process, but you know, as you move along in your career, I, I mean, I I like to be out on a football field. You know, if I'm feeling good. I like to be out there, you know. Um, you can't make plays if, if you're not on the football field. You know, if it's 80 snaps in the game and you're only playing 40, you know, you can make more, you can make more plays by playing 60. You know, you're exposed to, to more plays. You're exposed to um, more game-changing plays, and that's the type of player that I am. I got I to gotta be in the game to, you know, affect the ball carrier, to, to do what I do and, you know, to affect the game. I, you know, I, I'm – I'm all for like rotation and all of that stuff, but when it's crunch time, I have to be in the game, and um, I'm sure that, that the coaches and everybody wouldn't fight me on that. You know, when it's crunch time, I can go. I'm, I'm gonna be out there in the game. Any two minute warning, any two minute drive, anything like I have to be. I have to be out there. Um, you know, I'm all good for a rotation, like I said before. But you know, I like playing. I like playing my fair number of snaps. I like being in the game. You know. Um, when I come out of the game, I don't like staying out for a long. I like two two plays and I'm, and I'm back in. You know, um, like I said before, when we started this uh, this interview, all I've ever wanted to do is play football. And when I'm out there on, on game days, that's all I'm thinking about is making plays and making plays for my teammates. So, this slide. Work, like the process of you get with Sean McDermott and Leslie Frazier about your role, and like from now till training camp, obviously you stood up, you had your hand on the ground, you're versatile, you can do a lot of things. How does this work? The process of fitting you in and know what you like to do and how it fits in the defense. All right, this is this is my. This is my 12th year coming. This is my 12th year. I played an all, I played an all type of defense. You know, I've always I've always thought that like, bro, I'm a coach's dream. You know, I'm a coach's dream. No matter if we play in four three, three four, no matter what. I'm I know football. I know defenses. Um, I'm a coach's dream. Whatever they want me to do, I I'll be able to get it done. Um, I'm a team guy. On top of that, um, I get along with my teammates. I know how to work with my teammates. I know how to work with all different types of personalities, age groups. Um, you know, everybody. You know, I'm 33 years old. You know, we got guys in here that's 22. <laughs> 20, we got guys in here that's 21. You know, so I know how to relate to all of these guys, coaches, everybody. And whatever is asked, and whatever is asked, asked of me, you know, I'll be able to get it done. If the sign says Von get quarterback, that's good, right? If it says get the quarterback from a six technique or off the ball or playing middle linebacker, like, you know, I do it. They asked me yesterday to introduce myself, and, you know, I stood up. I told them I'm Von Miller from Texas A&M, and I play defense. I, I play defense. Whatever you guys need me to do, I, I'll be able to get it done. The main goal is here. The main goal here is to win a Super Bowl, win a Super Bowl, and bring it here to uh, to Buffalo. And whatever my role is, whatever they they ask me to do, I'm gonna do it 100 percent to get that done. Hey, man, I, I don't know if you, you're usually studying offensive film, but what has been your impression that you had any on Tremaine Edmonds and what he's done here for for whatever it's been four years, five years? Yeah, Tremaine Edmonds is one of the guys that I've been a fan of as well. 
uh, Tremaine Edmonds, Jordan Poirier, Micah, Micah Hyde, um, Tredavious White. You know, I've known these guys, uh, Matt Milano, you know, because I was going to try to get 58 before I came, but I know. Yeah, I, I knew he already had it, so I just went with 40 again. But all of these guys, these are these are the, the cornerstones of the team. And these guys make up this this great Bills defense that was number one in, in all top uh, five categories defensively. And um, Tremaine Edmonds, he's bro, I, when they first drafted him here, I thought they brought him here for Gronkowski. I thought they brought him here because he's a big body. You know, Gronkowski and the Bills. They, I mean, Gronkowski and the uh, um, and the New England Patriots was when Tom Brady was going off. I'm like, Tremaine is going to be the the Bronk, the Gronkowski like killer. And of course, you know Gronk left, and you know Tremaine developed a unique skill set. And I'm a huge fan of him. He's a big, tall inside linebacker. He can, he can. He's great in the pass. He's he's great stuff and runs. You know, he's your he's your <laughs> your typical. He's your freak um, inside linebacker. And I'm looking forward to playing with him. How about the uh, the young guys at your position, Epinesa? and Rousseau, they're all top two-round draft picks the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Expectations are pretty high for them. What have you seen from them if you've maybe watched some of their film, and what do you think your veteran you know, experience can offer those guys? I'm going to open book, and then I'm going to force some of my chapters on them. So I'm going to force some of the stuff that I, that I know on them. Um, it's just little things that I – Greg, you know, I, these guys are huge. Like, I'm six, you know, I'm six three. Like, these guys are huge. It's things that I've learned over my career that have helped me, you know, uh, battle with six, 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 300 pound guys. And these guys are already huge. So, it's just little stuff like that, that that I introduce to those guys to, you know, help it, you know, help their, um, their development out. You know, um, these are the guys, man. And, you know, I said when Shaq and, and Shane Ray, you know, they left the Broncos, like, I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't have any more kids. You know, I'm not about to coach anybody up. But, you know, the longer you play, you know, it's just, that's just how it, that's just how it develops. You know, the longer you play, um, you got to pay that, that information for it. Um, and it's just my way of giving back to a game that has given so much to me. You got to pay this knowledge. You got to pay the knowledge for DeMarcus Ware did it for me, Elvis, Elvis Dumerville, Sean Phillips. And, you know, wherever I go, I'm already – I'm, I'm already in that role right before I walk in the locker room. You're coming off an uh, <coughs> unbelievably dominant game in the Super Bowl. Um, some of the noise, though, after you signed this deal was like, all right, the Bills signed Bob Miller. He's turning 33. You know, how much does he have left? Do you hear any of that noise, that kind of stuff motivate you? Man, I, you know, I, I'm 33, but I, I honestly don't feel 33. And I, I think, uh, you know, mentally once you start feeling old, like it's just done. You know, I've been in the league a long time, and when guys start, you know, complaining about, like, oh, you know, of course you're going to have, like, injuries and stuff, but when guys start complaining, oh, man, it's cold out here, or, man, we got practice again today, or, dang, uh, you know, I got to – it's just little things that I try to stay out of. I try to keep my mind positive, and, of course, I'm, I'm getting older, but I don't feel, you know, 33 at all. And I, I, the main thing is I don't look 33 at all. When I'm running out here with the guys, I, I make it a point – to show to my teammates and to earn their trust that, hey, I'm 33 years old, but I can run with you and I can run with anybody. I'm healthy. I take care of my body. And this is this is a six-year deal, so I'm I'm looking forward to playing the whole thing. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to play I'm trying to play the whole thing out. You know, Tom Brady's done it. You know, Bruce Smith has has done it, and you know all the guys that I that I look up to when it comes to longevity and careers. You know, so I just take it one day at a time, and you know I'm just gonna take whatever God you know gives me. But my intention is to play the whole thing out for sure. I got I, I I'm a I'm a real sicko when y'all get to know me. Like my my my, my mindset is different. <laughs> Talk about you, you, what, you, you what are your thoughts on playing back at SoFi, potentially week one of Memphis Durant? Man, it's uh, I'm sure I get a lot of booze, but you know, it's uh, SoFi was a great place, and coming to the Rams, it it really saved me and it really refreshed me. Um, you know, going to play with Aaron Donald and going to play with um, Coach McVay and you know, uh, Leonard Floyd and Coach Coach Thad, that was my um, linebacker's coach. And all of these special relationships that I had, it's all it's all love and it'll forever be love. We won a Super Bowl. It's going to always be there. You can never take that away from anybody. And, you know, that, uh, that 12, 13 weeks was, you know, some of the – was really, honestly, some of the best 13 weeks of my football career. Every day was like the Pro Bowl. Um, the way Coach McVay and – Let's need running ship over there, man. It's it's refreshing for players. It's refreshing for players like me. You know, they practice, they do enough to get the work in, and then you know they 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 trust you to do your job, man. And, and that was refreshing when I came to LA. Um, being in Calabasas, you know, being in Hollywood, being around Aaron Donald, 
Um, I like to think that I, I'm a great defensive player. I like to think that I'm one of the best defensive players that have ever played this game. And I was around Aaron Donald, and he's just at a whole nother level. And that refreshed me and that motivated me to do better and to do more. So going back to L.A., it'll all be love from my end. Uh, SoFi Stadium is a, is a cool stadium. It's a cool place to play. Um, it would be weird playing from the other side on the away side, but, you know, um, it's all love in L.A., man, and I always have uh, L.A. close to my heart. You, Bob, you had mentioned a slide that Coach McDermott showed yesterday. I'm not sure if you can share what was on the slide, but what was essentially the message? Oh, the message was, um, so Coach McDermott got here five years ago, and he just, you know, he created the slideshow kind of like a book. This was the stories that were written. These are, you know, what we've built this team into. Um, a playoff caliber, you know, um, team, and when we get to the play, when we get to the playoffs, it'll turn to championship caliber, caliber defense. And essentially, it was, you know, we've been writing the book. You know, we've been writing the book all the way up until this point. Um, they went back to back. They won the AFC East back to back. What is the next step? You know, what's the next step? And I, you know, without me saying it, without me, without me putting it out there, we all know what the next step is. Um, our intent and our purpose every day that we come in here is, is for that. You know, to bring a Super Bowl here to Buffalo, and um, that's what it was all about. It was motivating to me, and I, you know, I've seen a lot, and it's, it's stuff that don't motivate me, and it's stuff that I've seen is just like, why are we watching this? But <laughs> you know, Coach McDermott, it's like he did a great job yesterday for sure. With your approach, you know, you just said your intention is to play out the six-year deal in the ideal world. How do you approach kind of this is the first time you've joined a team at the beginning of the, a new team at the beginning of the season? How do you kind of approach immersing yourself like in the team, both in the building, outside the building? I think first and foremost, nobody is going to respect you unless you perform, unless you come in here and work. Um, and that's what I do. I, that's what I do every day. I'm, I'm here to gain my teammates' respect. I go out here, I, you know, I empty the tank, you know, for these guys every day. And I want them to see that. I want them to see, like, hey, I'm here. Like, I'm I'm one of the guys. Whatever is asked me, I'm, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going I'm to earn their trust. I'm going to earn their respect. And um, that's just that's just how it is when it comes to football. You know, nobody really respects, you know, these rah-rah speeches and, you know, these uh, these videos and this and that and, you know, these quotes and stuff. You got to come out here and sweat. You got to come out here and bleed. You got to come out here and lay it on the line for your teammates. And um, that's where I'm going to start. You know, I'm going to gain all these guys' uh, respect on the football field whenever we work. And then, you know, off the field, you know, I'm a fun guy. You know, <laughs> I'm, a fun, I'm a fun guy. I get along with everybody. Um, being in the league for 12 years, you know, I got some of my colleagues on, on different teams. I've, I've been knowing these guys for a very long time. So I knew Diggs before I came here, um, knew Dotson before I came here, knew, knew Josh Allen, you know, before I came here. And, you know, you just start with those relationships and you just branch off to everybody else and until you get comfortable and you're in a position to, you know, to lead. Is there any recruitment aspect to all your golf outings with Joe Higgins? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It is. I, I might. I might have leaked it a little bit, but you know. I mean, it's, it's football. You you want to have the, you want to have the, you want to put the best team forward. And um, you know, we definitely talked about Buffalo. We te we definitely talked about him coming here. I don't know what the holdup is, but you know, it's, <laughs> that's just how it is. You know, I'm not gonna lie to him. You know, I'm here and I I tell him the truth about you know what I feel. And it's the same thing that I did with Odell Beckham last year. There's one thing I want to do, especially like with my friends. If if I don't like something, you know, I'm a you know I'm gonna tell you and. You know, here in Buffalo, it's, it's, it's not much to not like other than the snow, you know. <laughs> Everything else is, is really nice, you know, especially the facility, the, the coaches. You know, everybody that makes this, uh, this thing go, is, I've been impressed with all these guys from, you know, the lunch ladies to, you know, um, the maintenance workers to the, to the janitors. Everybody's really nice, and you can tell why, you know, this city is, is so beloved by everybody else. And those guys that you mentioned were Bruce Smith and, and playing out his career. I think I saw a video of yeah. What has he meant to you as a pass rusher, and now to have him kind of as a resource of you know being a legend here in Washington? I think it's just like a, I think it's just like a movie, man. I you know I think it's just like life and you know energy. They just you know, I, I'm not in control of this thing. Right? I'm just I'm just here and I'm just trying to do my best impression of Von Miller. Like uh, I met Bruce Smith a long time ago, and um, he can he's came he's come to the pass rush summit and we've built this relationship and. You know, I've been a fan of his career and everything that he's done, you know, 200 sacks. Any pass rusher that ever comes into the league is chasing that. But I never thought, like, you know, I would be a Buffalo Bill and, and um, you know, be here, you know, under his legacy and trying to write my own. I never thought that. It just, it just 
it honestly just feels like a, a movie and you know I'm just I'm just here coasting with it and you know to have uh, you know legendary Bruce you know Smith here to you know kind of bounce ideas off of and you know to talk to him it's cool where your chicken from, right? Have you had your uh, set of buffalo wings yet? <laughs> yeah, I have. And I was talking to my, I was talking to my, uh, my mom the other day. I was like, bro, we got to have some green pastures chicken here to make them the buffalo wings. It's only perfect. I got a chicken for them. Buffalo is known for buffalo wings. We got to have a collab of Von Miller's chicken and buffalo, get some great flavors. And, yeah, you know, we win a couple of games. You know, y'all see it. <laughs> I, I can't. Uh, I mean, you, you seem like you'd be great in the media. Like, I mean, you're just incredibly engaged. I love Bruce, and um, another one of my idols is Michael Strahan. You know, I, I love uh, you know everything he's done in the media. You know the way he carries himself, and you know that's that's that is my um, that is my my off the field I, on the field too. Like Michael Strahan, you know, lead single season, you know, uh, sack leader. He's tied with J T J Watt, but you know, single season, you know, sack leader, bro. I'm you know I'm I'm a fan of uh, Michael Strahan off, on off the football field. And um, I'm a fan of the way he parlayed his football career into the media. You know, um, he's Michael Strahan, I'm Vaughn Miller, so things would be, you know, totally different. But I definitely look up to Michael Strahan and everything that he's done with, you know, Fox and Nickelodeon. And, you know, and of course, I, you know, I see myself doing some of the same things when six years from now when, when it's over with. <laughs> uh, you talked about last time we talked to you, you were still uneasy on the flight to sign the contract. Now you've been in practice. Does, does it feel more – Sean kind of called it the first day of school. Does you feel more at peace, more comfortable? Yeah, yeah, I do. And my mom said it would do that. My mom said you just gotta go there, you gotta be there, because yeah, it's been a month. It's it's been a month, and like you know, it'd be days that I wake up and I'm like, bro, like I'm in Buffalo. I, I'm I left L.A. for Buffalo, like, and I had to just re, I had to just like re, like you know, re rewire myself and talk about the decision of why I did it, and um. You know, it's, it's just not easy, you know, leaving L.A. and leaving, you know, uh, Coach McVay and, and Aaron Donald and all these great players. It's just, it's just not easy doing it. And I still, you know, up until, like, yesterday and being here with the guys, I, I still battle with it. It'd be days, like, on Easter, I woke up and I'm like, bro, I, I'm really going to Buffalo. You know, I'm, I'm really going to Buffalo. And then when you get here and you with with Leslie Frazier and, you know, you you watching clips of, of Ed Oliver and seeing the type of player that he is, and you see Josh Allen and Diggs, it, you know, it it definitely helps. But when I came here, when I was on the plane flying here to sign my contract, I was like, bro, I'm coming here to tell him, like, I'm going back to L.A. <laughs> and then I got here, and, um, you know, I sat down with all the guys, man, and I just I felt that peace, and I felt like this was the place. Um, you know, Bill's Mafia went crazy. And I was like, bro, these are the type of fans that I want to play for. Um Bean, you know, sitting down with with uh, with Brandon Bean. Oh my God, like he's he's an incredible, you know, GM, and um, you know, talking to him, and I I just felt like everybody was telling me the truth. I didn't feel like um, people were lying to me to get here. I felt like everybody that I talked to, you know, they genuinely wanted me here. It was gen it was genuinely a purpose for me to be here. Um, I genuinely felt love from the organiza organization. I genuinely felt wanted from. Everybody, not just, uh, you know, Diggs or Josh Allen, but from the coaches to the fans to everybody. And, you know, being here uh, for the start of OTAs, this uh, is definitely put me at peace, and I'm excited to go. I'm ready to go win a, a, another an – I'm ready to go win a Super Bowl for the Buffalo Bills. I'm ready to see Bills Mafia go crazy. I'm ready to build um, the special relationships uh, with all the – with all the workers here and everybody that makes this, this thing go. And, you know, I'm super excited to be a Buffalo Bill. How instrumental has Joby Brandon been in your career? How instrumental has Joby Brandon been throughout your career? Joby, my, my, my agent, bro, we've dealt with so many different things, you know, on and off the football field. And, um, you know, he's uh, – you know, shout out, shout out Joby. Uh, Joby's a great agent. And, um, of, course, of course, they have um, – you know, of course, they have different agents that fit different players. And, you know, Joby is, is a great fit for me. You know, he was a great fit for me when I was – 21 years old, he's a great fit for me when I'm 33 years old. So many different things that I've had to overcome on and off the football field, from injury to, you know, to all different types of things. And, he, and he's helped me with that. He's been like my like my uncle. My uncle, he's always giving me great advice. It might not have always been the, great, the advice that I wanted to hear, but he's given me the, the, 
the, he's given me the right advice for me. And, um, you know, I trust him. Obviously, I trust him with my career. You know, um, I, I trust him with everything, and I'm just uh, blessed and appreciative to have, you know, an agent and be represented by Vanguard Sports. You know, I really appreciate those guys. Thank you.